welcome! Today I want to delve into the topic of not really knowing what you want to do with your life. I feel like in today's society there's so much pressure put on people for knowing who they are and what they want to do and who they want to be. At such a young age kids are asked what do you want to be when you grow up and then when they hit high school they have to figure out what college they want to go to and oh if you don't go to college what are you doing with your life? Like there's just so much pressure on choosing a career, choosing you know do you want to have a family in life? Oh if you don't have a family what are you doing? Like so many judgments upon what people choose to do with their lives and it creates this realm of fear for those who don't really know what they want to do. When I was a senior in high school I had signed up for a college and I was going to go to a four-year graphic design program. I had it all ready to go and then kind of last minute I backed out and I took a year off Then I signed up for an online community college and I went to that for about a week and then some life stuff happened and dropped out of that. And ever since then, I haven't really figured out what exactly I want to do in my life. Sometimes I have a little crisis of like, what do I want? I know there are certain things I want. Like I mentioned in my previous video, I want a homestead. I want to live a simple life. But when it comes to career and things like that, I still don't really have a clue. And I'm here to tell you that that's okay. If you're watching this and you don't know what you want to do, don't feel bad about that. I think what's important is that you make choices for yourself that are to better yourself and to make yourself happy and not please other people. Personally, I received a lot of judgment when I didn't go to college right out of high school. I received judgment when I dropped out of my online college. But the thing about it is I, I personally don't think that young people should know exactly what they want at the age of 18. You know, whenever you graduate high school, whether it's 16, 17, 18, 19, I don't, I don't know, whenever you do, that's still such a young time in your life to be like, okay, I'm going to be a doctor, I'm going to be um, an actress, actor, whatever. Like, I had ideas of what I thought I would like, but the thought of being locked into something was not, it was so overwhelming for me. In a lot of ways, I like to be very like free flowing. And when it comes to a job or a career, I can't just stay at one place for 40 plus years. So yeah, I guess you could say I'm a job hopper, but I don't see anything wrong with that. I know for some people, they see that as being unstable, but I don't look at it that way. I see it as I'm at a job for a certain amount of time, whether it be a year, less than a year, and if that job is no longer suiting my needs, I leave it and go to something else. If I'm being treated poorly at a place of work, I'm not going to stay there and just take it. And to me, money isn't everything, so I don't necessarily need a job that I make six figures a year. So you'll have people tell you throughout your life, you need to go to college and secure yourself a good high paying job and then you'll be happy and then you'll be, you'll be fulfilled. This will be a good life for you. And it's like, what if it isn't though? Well, what if you don't want that? I feel like not everyone needs to have a specific passion for a career or even just life in general. Um, you know, a passion for wanting a family or a passion for travel or, you know, so many examples. I don't think everyone needs to have that. If you figure out a way in your life where you can just be, be who you are and just live without expectations or, you know, people thinking the worst of you, just, just let it all go and just be who you are. But that's far too radical, isn't it? It's way too much to even think about that type of life when it comes to this Western society. <laughs> See, I don't know, the idea of just a career for me personally is not something I can stick to. There's such a stigma behind that too, where it's like if you don't know exactly what you want, then you're a failure. It's like that's bullshit. If I decide on a specific career and then I'm miserable my whole life, that's not worth it. What's the point? Ooh, look at me. I'm making six figures and I hate myself. Great. <laughs> it's also okay to know exactly what you want. There are people who 
right out of high school, even as children, they're like, I want to be this, and I know exactly what I want, I know how I'm going to get there, this, 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 that, that's fine. That's good for you as long as, like, things are working out, that's awesome. But let's stop hating on the people who don't know that, who don't have it all figured out. I think there's way more to life than just figuring out a career or planning every single moment of your life out. I think it could be very beneficial to just go with the flow of things. Figure out what works for you. Figure out what you're good at. Sometimes it takes time. I know for a little while I was jealous of people who knew exactly what they wanted. In a way I still kind of get stressed out because I'm like, oh god, I don't know who I am. But then I sit back and I'm like, wait a second, it doesn't, I don't need to worry. It doesn't matter. As long as I'm doing things that are beneficial to me, who cares? And I think that, you know, it's so programmed in our minds that we're such failures if we don't meet these expectations. Let's all just take a chill pill. <laughs> Anywho, this was just a short little rant. Again, if you don't know what you want in life, that is completely okay. I'm sure one day you'll figure it out. And even if you don't figure it out, that's okay. Just, just go with the flow. Make the best choices that you can. Be a kind, good person. And yeah. Alrighty, well, have a fantastic day.